But hello folks, how are you doing? <laughs> it's lovely to see you again and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea. Or if you're new, a warm welcome to you also. Like I said, this is What's For Tea and my name is Cheryl. And I'm going to be showing you tonight this lovely slow cooker recipe. It's absolutely delicious, creamy chicken, you know, with a lovely mushroom sauce. And it is a slow cooker recipe, so it's going to be super simple. But like I said, it really is one of the most delicious slow cooker meals that I've ever tried. You know, it's not going to be for you if you're trying to watch your weight or your calories, because, you know, it does contain cream and milk and butter and cream cheese and olive oil. But, you know, if you're looking for a wee treat for the night for yourself and your family, you cannot go for far wrong with this. Everybody in the house absolutely loved this and it does, you know, you don't need many ingredients and you just throw everything in, leave it for five hours and come back and it's done. Just before I move on, I just wanted to say you might see, hopefully you might see a wee bit of a difference in the quality of my videos from now, you know, going forward. Um, I was using an iPhone 10 to record my videos. That's how I record my videos. I just use my phone. But as an early Christmas present, Mr. What's For Tea has gotten me the new iPhone 11, which I'm using just now, you know, to film this video. So hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll see a wee bit of a difference in the quality because I was having a bit of issue, you know, with my lighting. So hopefully this has sorted it out. So let's move on and I'll show you what I'm using in tonight's recipe. The first thing I've got is a teaspoon of garlic. Now I'm just using garlic paste, but use fresh garlic if you like. I've got two tablespoons of butter, 200 grams of button mushrooms, 60 ml of milk, 180 ml of double cream, four chicken breast portions, salt and pepper to taste, a 295 gram can of mushroom soup, three tablespoons of cream cheese, a little olive oil, that you're just going to need two or three tablespoons and that's it. So I'm using grams but I've also got cup measurements in the description box down below just in case you want to use cups instead of grams. Yep, so that's it. So let's move on and we'll see what's next. So this is a soup that I'm using. I like Campbell's if I'm cooking, you know, in the slow cooker. I just find it's nice and thick and creamy. But other brands, you know, you can use whatever brand you like. But this is the one that I'm using. And this is the garlic that I'm using. I do have fresh garlic there, but you know, this is just so much quicker. So the first thing I want to do is chop my mushrooms. Now this is 200 grams of button mushrooms, but again, you can use whatever kind of mushrooms you like. Just don't cut them too thinly because obviously they're going to be in your slow cooker for five hours. So you don't want them disappearing completely. Just set your slow cooker to high. And I always like to warm up my crock pot with some boiling water for about 10 minutes before I'm ready to use it. If you're doing that, just make sure to remember to throw your water out. So the first thing you want to do is get a couple of tablespoons of olive oil into the bottom of your crock pot. And then grab your chicken breast. And you just want to sort of coat your chicken in your oil. Just you only need very, very little oil, not much at all. And that was fine for me. And the next thing I'm going to do is pop in my milk. And then my cream cheese. I'm just using Philadelphia. And then the garlic. And then the cream. Now this is just double cream, or I think it's also known as heavy cream. And then my mushroom soup. Now you can see how thick and creamy the Campbell's soup is, and that's why I use this one. And then your butter. You just want to chop that up into smaller pieces, just so that when you stir it round, you know, it does break up and it doesn't stay in the one big lump. And then just pop in some salt and pepper to your own taste. I think I've probably used about half teaspoon of each. Not much, because you can always season it, you know, once it's on your plate. Now you just want to stir this thoroughly. Just make sure everything's broken down and combined, especially your cream cheese. 
before you add in your mushrooms because we you add your mushrooms at this stage you know you don't want them all breaking up so the last thing i want to do is pop in my mushrooms and you just want to give these a wee gentle stir round you really just want to submerge them you know get them underneath the surface of your liquid so give them a wee gentle stir round and then sort of pat them down so that they you know disappear underneath your sauce So that was it. I mean, like I said, super, super easy. But I do urge you to give this a go because it's absolutely delicious. Absolutely sinful, but absolutely delicious. So cook this on high for five hours and this is what you'll have five hours later. Oh, divine. And everything is perfectly cooked. You know, the chicken is so tender and juicy. And that combination of flavours with the mushrooms and the garlic and the cream. Oh, oh my goodness. This is not something you be wanting to have every night, but as a once in a while treat, you know, it's lovely. So like I said, I've got four, you know, chicken breast pieces in there. So this is going to serve four of us. And we just had some mashed potato on the side and also some tender stem broccoli. Which goes lovely with the chicken, actually. And that's the chicken breast and then some of the lovely creamy mushroom sauce over the top. Oh, oh my goodness, this was delicious. I'm just going to show you in a second my portion when it was on the table. I'm just going to cut into it just to let you see how tender it actually was. Mr. What's for tea was saying, what are you doing? <laughs> I had the tripod sitting on the, dim the dining room table, <laughs> staring down at my plate. But yeah, look how tender that is. It's crazy. Absolutely fall apart. So, you know, it was very juicy as well. So yeah, highly recommended, you know. But like I said, full of calories. But the chicken itself, you know, you can justify it by saying the chicken itself is actually virtually calorie free. <laughs> so it's really just your sauce that's containing your calories. But yeah, definitely worth a go, guys. Like I said, if you're looking for something, you know, a wee bit comforting and a wee bit naughty, Especially at this time of year where it is getting colder at night and you do want these sort of meals, so yeah. So let me know if you decide to give it a go for yourself, you know, and how you got on with it and how you found it. Because I'm always chuffed to see, you know, folk trying the recipes and letting me know how they got on with them. So that was it. Super easy, super quick. Well, it wasn't actually super quick. It was five hours. But you can go away, you know, go about your day and come back and your tea is on the table more or less right away. You don't have to do much at all. So thank you very much, guys, for popping over and checking out the wee recipe. And I shall be back tomorrow for our shopping haul. I'm not sure where we're going yet, but I think we'll probably end up at Tesco or Asda this time, just for a wee change. And then, of course, we've got meals of the week on Sunday as well. So whenever you decide to come back and join me again, guys, mind to take care of yourselves. And from our house in Scotland to yours, wherever you are in the world, lots of love. And bye for now. Bye now.